Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Today's our field exercise for performing some digital communications tests out in the field. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I've got four guys coming over in about 45 minutes. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a quick tour of net control. And the first thing we need to do is get this guy some coffee. We are running everything today on battery or auxiliary power. Uh, so no um, grid tie. And we're gonna run our coffee maker for today off of the a portable battery station I built on the channel about a year ago. All right, now that we have uh, coffee underway, let's go ahead and take a look at net control itself. There have been a few changes since the last video in terms of the planning. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna be running everything off of a 12 amp hour BioWino battery. I think it's gonna be fine for today's exercise. If needed, we can run out the solar panels. I've also prepared for uh, net control and basically everybody else in the team. Uh, packets that include uh, two documents. One is the um, communications plan and the other one is a field manual that I started to write. I switched out the station. Previously we were planning on running the Yaesu FT2980R connected to the Raspberry Pi or sorry Raspberry Pi and Signalink but the issue I ran into was that um, that runs headless and when you connect to it via Wi-Fi over VNC I was noticing that on transmission for digital, it was killing the Wi-Fi connection. So I've decided to give up my laptop and we're gonna be using the CF20 Toughbook. And since we made that change anyhow and are now using the DigiRig, I opted to pull out out of my safe the Kenwood D710. And this is a dual band, dual VFO rig. So we have uh, band A for digital and band B is our voice net. So that's pretty much it for net control. Uh, in terms of antenna, we've got a little modest 2 meter Yegi antenna up about 16 feet. Right now it's pointed south so that I can listen to traffic as people approach the house. But we're going to flip that around and at the National Forest uh, when we start the exercise. For the other stations, uh, I have also have uh, welcome packets for uh, the guys here by their call sign. Uh, the Tonto station is going to have the FT60R HT with the Toughbook. Mobile One will have my 8800 man pack with the Toughbook. I have my rig behind me uh, for support gear, but really my station is pretty modest. It's just going to be uh, an Android phone with my FT60R, and I'm primarily going to be doing acoustic coupling. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough, waiting for the gents to get here, and we're going to have some fun today. Stick around. It's going to be a long one. So one other thing I put in the comp plan was when people were about five or ten minutes from my location to go ahead and radio in on simplex on the net frequency, just so I had some idea of when they were arriving. Here's a little clip of it. Good morning, Mike. Uh, you have a full copy out here in New River, Arizona. K21, are you in? See you in a bit. No, it's actually not on. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I believe that. Uh huh. Uh huh. How many presidential candidates have died because you know the microphone's muted? Right. <laughs> Maryland. Right. Right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, George, then you're going to be uh, your tactical is Tonto, and you're going to be positioned right at the entrance of the Tonto National Can Forest. Can I abuse that? Will you be the lone ranger? Exactly. <laughs> 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 You know what Tonto means in Spanish, yes. don't you? Stupid. Stupid! <laughs> when repeaters were new back in the 70s, and we had the, the dial tone, the, the, the dialing pad, we would make an individual box that had a speaker mm -hmm. and hold that up oh, to yeah. the microphone to Arm find out if it would work. Yep. Where's the on button on this thing? So on oh. section 2.3, number section three. 2.3. Power button is up. You've thought of everything. <laughs> Power button is located at the bottom right of the screen. Do a long press on it till the lights turn on. Okay. There you go. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go. We're just going to do a quick comm check. Mobile 2. Mobile 2, I'm on the beam, so if I'm hurting your radio, you have to say so. Oh, the antenna is uh, killing my rig. KT1, are you one? 
Dead birds, dead birds. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, the three uh, mobile stations are on foot now. We're about to approach the uh, Tonto National Forest. We're an hour behind. We had a lot of good time over there in the shack based on some of the footage you just saw. And uh, hopefully we're going to have a good day. This is going to be a long video. Uh, so got George on my right. George, what's your uh, call sign? KA7CHR. I'm KT1RUN Gaston. And uh, to my left is David KG7GTF. All right, guys, stick around. We'll get right to it. Actually, I just think I stole, stole uh, Jason KM4 ACK's tagline. Sorry, Jason. We've arrived at Tonto and are going to set up our station. Uh, we will get back on the air as soon as we're set up and ready to transmit. KT1, are you in? Very good. Be advised. Uh, you are full quieting. WB4, ZKA. All right, guys, we're at the uh, Tonto aid station. This is our first aid station, and we're just setting up the FT-60R with the um, CF-20 Toughbook, getting ready to do our first NBMS digital exchange. All right, guys, we had our first issue. We had a dead carrier on our FT-60R. For those of you guys who are familiar with that rig, there's a 3.5 millimeter jack. When it backs out, it'll key the transmitter. So we're putting a rubber band to secure the 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is why we get out here and train, figure out all these little nuances. 33, 54, 06. 112, 02, 71. Mobile two. Mobile two. Ready to send traffic. Ready to receive. Traffic sent. KT1, are you in? Paul confirms traffic received. Uh, we're checking um, the. Let's parse the numbers for a moment and make sure that we believe them. WB4, ZKA. We're looking at 33 degrees, 54 minutes, 06 seconds by 112 degrees, 02 minutes and 71 seconds. KT1, are you one? I acknowledge all. That's exactly what we received. And the time was 821 and high transmit power. So, uh, now we didn't see a test number. I, I, it looks like it's uh, figures 2-8 before the time. What did you send? Can you read it off to me? I hear 0821. Oh, you didn't put the test number? No, I didn't. That was the station error. Uh, we failed to include the test number. We'll correct it on the next, um, when we move to mobile one positions. KT1, are you one? There we go. Looks like we got the whole message. Yeah. How slick is that? Guys, this is amazing. We're at our second station. We receive test number 1B successful. Well done. Copy that. No issues with format change? No issues at all. We're reading test pound sign 1 Bravo. Figure 0845. Oh, my. You changed the format, but we read it. Figures 33.9011 north, figures 112.0453 west low. Very clear. Outstanding. K7 Peter. Well done, George. WB4ZKA. Mobile 2. Mobile 2. We had our station up and running, and we also confirm receipt of message. I love it when a plan comes together. Good leadership makes good followership just fine. Thank you for this, Gaston. My pleasure. Stand by. Uh, ETA is two minutes, and we will send our traffic. Uh, I will announce it on voice prior to transmission. KT1, are you one? Thank you. And frankly, that's valuable because we are horsing around with uh, FL Digi and uh, experimenting and testing so we have to be ready to receive. It's not obvious that we will be. We're not just sitting here uh, looking at one another's good looks. That would be difficult. 
Understood, KT1RUN. All right, folks, apologies for the wind. The GoPro died, as it typically does in the Sonoran Desert. We're at the Mobile One station and getting ready for our second test, and we're setting up the FT8900 man pack. There we go. Looks like we got the whole message. Yeah. How slick is that? Guys, this is amazing. We're at our second station. We receive test number 1B successful. Well done. Copy that. No issues with format change? No issues at all. We're reading test pound sign 1 Bravo. Figure 0845. Oh, my. You changed the format, but we read it. Figures 33.9011 three one one north, figures 112.0453 one one west low. Very clear. Outstanding. ca 7 p sir. Well done, George. WB4ZKA. Mobile 2. Mobile 2. We had our station up and running, and we also confirm receipt of message. I love it when a plan comes together. Good leadership makes good followership just fine. Thank you for this, Gaston. My pleasure. Stand by. Uh, ETA is two minutes, and we will send our traffic. And it looks like we're transmitting. Yeah. So wait for, um, you see in the top right where it has a little red button that's transmitting? Right. No, is it not? You can hear it being kicked in. You're sending a lot of data. I know. Well, what's going on here? Minus decimal, a correction, minus figures 112 decimal 0486 and a power setting of 5. Affirmative, that is correct. I love it when it works. I look forward to finding out what you guys did to make that happen. Pushed a few magic buttons. All right, guys, this is an excellent lesson. We had a weird issue with our um, Mobile One station uh, where it kept on switching the mode and kicking us out of MT63 and into a PSK mode. Uh, we're not sure exactly why that happened, but we were able to finally send off an MT63 transmission that was received by all stations. I'm heading on foot to the final location uh, for Mobile Two, and uh, I'll be doing an acoustic coupling test. What did it say? Expected it to be. Expected data rate was supposed to be seven seconds and it did flip it back to 8 PSK 125, I noticed. Did you receive it as 125 or 1000F? Oh, yep, yeah, we received it at, as 8 PSK 125. When you're ready to transmit, proceed. WB4ZKA. Understood. I'm going to QSY to digital and send the transmission. KT1 RU1. Got to turn off the lock. We're on 145 decimal 500. Hopefully the GoPro does not die. We're going to go to the outbox here. And I have two messages. And we're going to go ahead now and key down the PTT. All right, and we're going to QSY Mobile 2. Mobile 2, it looks like successful. I failed to time it, unfortunately. But it's a format we're used to, and look at you. Test 7, successful. Excellent. So that was acoustic coupling with an Android phone. The interface is a little bit uh, to be desired. Uh, I also have inbound uh, bogey coming my way in a vehicle. Uh, stand by, he's coming in hot here.
Mobile 2? Mobile 2, be advised, the amplitude of the audio was, was uh, noticeably lower to my ear, but digital was still able to pull it out. Understood, and also be advised, uh, Mobile 1 and Tonto, there is a 4x4 vehicle approaching your location. All right, guys, we're doing our last test to see if we can get an ICS-213 form sent. I'm doing it acoustically coupled. The rest of the guys are receiving digitally. Mobile 2? Mobile 2. I'm running out of battery. Do you mind if I go ahead and give my report of receipt? By all means. Okay, I acknowledge receipt of a... ICS 213 form from Paul, subject, test, figures 7, message, test messages 1, 1B through 6 received. All right, guys, hope you had a good time following this around in the Tonto National Forest, uh, basically watching over our shoulder and taking a look at our digital experiment with NBEMS. It was a fantastic success. We learned so much and we had such a great time. But uh, I need to cut this video short. We're going to do the after action report in part three. But with that said, I want to give a big shout out to my two net control operators, Mike WB4ZKA, who was our voice net control, and his partner in crime, Paul KQ7V. You guys knocked it out of the park. And Mike, you did a fantastic job with your notes. Uh, for you NBMS guys out there, we tried four different modes. We're going to get into that later, and we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then I have to give props to my uh, fellow two field operators, George, I can't remember your call sign, and David, KG7GTF. You guys were amazing. Thank you so much for coming all the way out to South Utah and supporting this event. Hopefully we'll do more in the future. And hopefully you guys get a test for um, what it's like to be in the field. And remember, I gave you guys every opportunity for me to pack out a chair and a small table. So it was on you being on the floor, guys. All right, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. George, you gonna be part of this? Yes, sir. Good, good. We got a chair for it if you want it. Lessons that will then, because I would say your field manual even is even helpful. You've got a great description on how to set the stuff up and configure yeah. it in there.